One issue that is really near and dear to my heart is the value of getting accurate and truthful news and journalism out to the public. The press literally under attack. A Hong Kong newspaper linked to a spiritual group banned in China shared this security camp footage of masked men smashing its printing presses. The attack, coming at a time of tightening Chinese control, was condemned by the city's Foreign Correspondence Club and the Hong Kong Journalists Association. I think we can all recognize the damage that it causes to the global society at large when information is suppressed and important stories are buried. Press freedom has been in steady decline. According to the latest Reporters Without Borders World Press Freedom Index, Hong Kong has fallen from 18th place in 2002 to 80. One of the worst crimes that a government can be guilty of is an attack on journalists and journalism in general. There's terrible things happening in the world all over the place today. And when a state tries to stop people from talking about it, the damage it can cause can lead to the suppression of accountability. There are many countries that target journalists and suppress information and stories that are just inconvenient and critical of these regimes. Countries like North Korea, Saudi Arabia, and the Philippines, and many other countries routinely kill and jail journalists when they just don't toe the official line. Globally in 2020, 54 journalists, citizen journalists, and media assistants were killed. And according to the U.S. Press Freedom Index, 415 journalists were assaulted in America alone. One of the ironies about American exceptionalism is this perpetual proclamation about the freedoms we enjoy here. Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? Uh, freedom and freedom. So let's keep it that way. Yet we see pattern after pattern showing that America fails to perform above many countries and sometimes ranks among the lowest among Western democracies. With a straight face, you're going to tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome that we're the only ones in the world who have freedom? We're 7th in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, 3rd in median household income. We lead the world in only three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. Of the 179 nations tracked on the World Press Freedom Index, United States sits at only 44, barely staying above being categorized as problematic. Americans, like many other people, don't like getting bad news. And a very large part of the population are not only resistant to change, but are sometimes hostile to even hearing about the problems that we face as a society, claiming that it's unpatriotic to question the status quo of perceived American dominance. So Reporters Without Borders decided to take a novel approach to fighting journalistic censorship. With over 200 million copies sold since release, the most popular video game in the world is without question Minecraft. So Reporters Without Borders saw an opportunity to reach an audience to share the important stories that have been kept from the public and suppressed in some countries by allowing people from around the world to download a custom Minecraft map where they could read books that were containing important articles that have been silenced and censored in some countries. Censorship, blockages, internet surveillance, and incredibly restrictive laws. <laughs> Journalists like Jamal Khashoggi, who was murdered by the Saudi government, for example, has many articles that have been repressed by the Saudi government, including his final article that was published posthumously after his murder. <laughs> Yulia Berezovsky, a Russian journalist who now lives in exile in France, her new site, Granny.ru, was targeted by state-run Russian trolls, and then one by one, the journalists were all arrested and rounded up under the guise of combating terrorism. I'm Yulia Berezovskaya. I run Granny Road, which is blocked in Russia. My name is Hue Van Dai. I am a news broker from Vietnam. I was sentenced 15 years in prison. In Russia, if you even mention the title of a pro-Ukrainian poem, you can be retaliated against. In fact, the author, Alexander Baishev, a Russian school teacher, was arrested, tried, and convicted for his poetry that was critical of the annexation of Crimea. 
Even now, granny.ru cycles through numerous domains and has links on its sites to several mirror locations because of the relentless attacks from the Russian government. Freedom of speech is important because we need to inform young people about the real political situation around the world. Journalism serves a critical role in society. There is an increased distrust in journalism around the world, yes. But the answer to that is more journalism. Support your local paper, read from a wide variety of publications and news sources, and as you read, ask questions yourself and try to find those answers proactively and try to inform yourself and others. The Uncensored Library is a bold use of Minecraft. It really encapsulates everything that's great about this game and the community that it's created. As I look at this gorgeous Uncensored Library, I feel like this is what we should be doing. The only real way of fighting censorship is sharing and spreading what is being censored. So the biggest reason I wanted to make this video is because the Uncensored Library is currently up for a Webby Award. And I believe it's well deserved. And if you follow the link in my description, you can cast your own vote like I did. Voting ends May 8th, so there's still a little time at the time of this video that I'm posting. I was actually hoping to post this as a fundraising video, but unfortunately YouTube doesn't have them listed on the approved nonprofit section for some reason. If you follow the links below, there are some ways to contribute directly. So the reason that I'm so passionate about this topic and this nonprofit is that we live in a world where there are so many societal problems and so many things to care about. But the only reason we know about them is because we were told about them. I've also left links where you can try the map yourself, built for Reporters Without Borders by Blockworks, a company that specializes in building fantastic custom Minecraft landscapes. You can try it out yourself by downloading the map as a save file or just by logging into their server without having to download anything besides the game client itself. Thank you for watching. Out of the darkness, we can all find light. But for now, this is Night Docs, signing off.